bridge. Good grief. I go straight up in the air. So this bridge takes us over to Roanoke Island, which is, I'm sure why they call this the Croatoan Sound. So what is the story of the Roanoke that it was 1500s? The late 1500s and was it Sir Rawlings? Walter Raleigh. Walter Rawlings was commissioned. So basically they made a little colony over here. And he they, left. Yeah, and they come back to check on him and everybody was gone. Yeah. And they don't know what happened. Nobody ever found out what happened to him. The whole colony just disappeared and they were on this little island. This is a literal island. The water goes all the way around. So it's like a big huge mystery that they've never solved and probably never will. American Horror Story did like a whole series. Yeah one of their seasons they did a whole season on this. Roanoke. I think Kathy Bates was in that season, wasn't she? Yeah. I wonder if those were like, um, what do you call the lighthouse attendants, attendants or whatever. I wonder if that's like their their homes or was their homes. There's the Bodie Island Lighthouse. So this is actually inland, and that over there oop, is the sound. It's a cool lighthouse. So on this side we have the sound. I don't know which one. <laughs> and then on that side, we have the Atlantic Ocean. So we're taking this bridge and going, we'll be crossing. We'll have the ocean on one side and the sound on the other. You can really see those splashing up out there. Holy macaroni. It is windy. Holy macaroni. This is probably the windiest we've been in since we've been in this East Coast area. This is crazy. So you can see the lighthouse from here. I can get in zoomed in. I don't think I can zoom in enough. I can see it. Okay, I'm not walking any farther up here, but there's the ocean over there. You see where all those waves are. I can't see if I'm getting it in there or not. Yeah, the waves are on the back side of this little islandy area here. That's the ocean out there. Oh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a view out here. Let's go this way. This might go right to the beach. Wow, look at those waves. Those are so awesomely pretty. And I thought the ones we were seeing at Myrtle Beach was big. <laughs> Wow. 
few people out here. Not a lot. Crossed over into Kill Oh Bird. <laughs> We've crossed over into Kill Devil Hills. I think no, that Croatoan Highway may still be going. It's Highway 158. We are actually on Virginia Dare, which is Highway 12. 158 is running parallel with us on the other side over here. And it's considered the Croatoan Highway, which I think that's where all the, probably the little, like, souvenir shops and stuff are, maybe. Because still haven't seen a whole lot on this side. This seems to be much more residential. Now we're in the Kitty Hawk area. And there's these little, like, observation-y type decks but it doesn't say that they're public, so I don't know if they don't belong to the houses adjacent from them or not. I don't know. Most of the things in the last couple little towns said, you know, public access. These are not marked. And there's like no parking through here, it seems like. There's a lot of public parking in Kill Devil Hills and Nags Head. And from what we could tell, it looks like it's free parking. It didn't look like you had to pay. I didn't see any, like, pay stations or meters or anything like that. I just saw on one of these little deck things that there was a sign. It was marked private. So these do belong to the houses across from them, evidently. I think they're probably all marked, but the sand has come up so high that because that one was almost blocked with sand so I'm thinking maybe the others have been blocked with sand so there's a public beach access so they are specifically marked so you would want to make sure that you're using a public not a private one I still haven't really seen parking here though have you so I'm not sure if maybe there's parking over that way and you have to walk because there is crosswalks at those public accesses. So maybe somewhere over in there there's parking. Don't know. I already forgot what the sign said. We're in shoreline something or other or something like that. Anyway, 158 Croatoan Highway ended back there. It goes back across over to the mainland and then 
we come up and basically 12 sort of took over. They sort of joined and then 158 went off the other way and then this, yeah. So now we're on 12 on the opposite side kind of of where we were. Well, now we're in Duck. Um, still just houses. Yeah, I would say so. We actually hit some businesses. Super wings. Coffee and ice cream. Hawaiian Island coffee and ice cream. Duck donuts. I could have went for a duck donut. You can rent some bikes, some surfboards. Duck duck burgers. Seafood market. There's a few of those I've seen. Home of the tomato pie. <laughs> Could get a kite. Go fly a kite. Some serious construction going on here, but that's the sound side. Don't know what sound we're at. I have no idea. Didn't see a sign for that. We made it into Corolla. We lost all the houses on this side, but we still got houses on this side. <laughs> and it said, the one sign said 10.4 miles to the historic, to historic Corolla. So, because there's supposed to be like a little historic village thing. I don't know. We'll see. We found the, I guess, sort of historic village of Corolla. Didn't really see a lot of village no. I don't know I don't maybe we're not looking at the right thing I don't know but this is Whalehead Mansion and I'm not sure the dates on this but I think it's supposed to be old it's pretty cool the bridge is pretty cool we're gonna walk over here I don't you probably have to pay to tour the mansion well the mansion is pretty cool we did not do the tour. It does cost. And it takes like 45 minutes. And I don't think we really want to spend the time. No, we got rain coming. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna move on. I think we are going to try to get over there and see the lighthouse a little bit. But we're not going to go up in it or anything. Just for picture's sake, I guess. Well, parking is a lot to be desired right by the lighthouse. We probably could have walked from where we were at, but it doesn't really matter. It's all surrounded by trees. It's not even like an like an ocean view oh, or anything. So, we're going to we're going to skip it as soon as this guy gets in his parking spot. 2 hours later. We got some parking right there. We're going to go over here and see what the uh, what the ocean looks like because we haven't seen it the last few days. <laughs> it's been like a whopping what hour since we've seen the ocean. But we want to see if it looks different than the other spots we've stopped. We're gonna or talked about doing the one of the wild horse tours which is really hard to say but it's like you know $120 for the two of us to do it it's a two hour thing which that's not as big a deal but it's there's no guarantee that there, you're going to see horses and I really would hate to spend $120 to not see any horses it's still beautiful. Little video shot. See, see the waves. See our faces. <laughs> I 
Well, that's the Corolla Chapel. That does not look historic to me. This way is supposed to be the historic village. This is supposed to be the original stuff. Most of it's just been restored. And I guess it's the only community along the Outer Banks that really has any of their original buildings left. There's the book Island Bookstore. You didn't tell them about how the pavement ends. Yeah, so we drove on down 12 Highway just to see, and the pavement does just come directly to an end into the sand. And it tells you four-wheel drive only. You cannot go out there without a four-wheel drive vehicle, which we knew that. But I was hoping that there would be like some parking for non-four-wheel drive vehicles so that we could just walk out on the beach up there and see if there wasn't some, you know, maybe wild horses or something on the beach in that area. I will say that I read something online that said the best time to see the wild horses is mid-April to the end of May, which we're right in that area, but there was no parking, so we couldn't walk out there to see coffee shop, coffee and art. There's some barbecue over there. Not sure. Guess just someone's home. <laughs> Spry Creek Boutique. Yep. I believe over here is the old schoolhouse. A lot of picnic tables you can sit out here and picnic. So the old schoolhouse is pretty neat. Notice the sign over there below the flag said school is in session. I thought it was just for giggles, I guess. But this sign said school is in session for real. They're operating a K through eight public school. Interesting. Had no idea that it still was in operation. Um, not for sure if that's supposed to be one or if that's actually someone's home. It's kind of hard to tell. And things aren't really very well marked, are they? No. Not at all. I'm gonna say this is probably about it. Yep. We're taking the wild horse tour. Yep. Because Jesse knew I really wanted to do it. And he's a big old sucker. I guess, wouldn't you? It's the only way you'd get here. There's a few houses out here. That's crazy. It is cold. That wind is freezing. So we're going to hop back behind the dunes, which is more than likely where the horses are going to be hanging out. Uh, we have seen them on the beach, so as we're heading up the beach, keep your eye out on the dunes for horses that will be making their way to the beach in case I don't see them. Also, look out on the ocean. We do see a lot of dolphins on these tours. Please refrain from taking pictures of them, though. That's a different tour. I'll have to charge you extra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay. So. The way we came on this beach is the only way on and off. There is no secret paved back road back here to get to all these houses. 
In terms of houses, there's over 900 up here in the 4x4 area, but only about 100 are full-time residents. The biggest one is this one right here. It's 30 bedrooms. It rents out for $30,000 to $50,000 a week during the season. It comes complete with a helipad in the back and a big size swimming pool with a lazy river around it. Thank you. 
horses with those same genetics, there's only two places that they exist, at least that are known that they exist, and that beach there, Corova Beach, or Corova area of North Carolina, and then down at Shackleford Banks, which you have to ferry over to that. They're specifically said to be Spanish horses, they have shorter legs than a normal horse. Um, they're, something about their fur is different than like our horses, you know, our normal horses. And I guess they did genetics testing and that's how they know that the ones at this island or this beach and that island is are the same genetics. And like that, they is only supposed to be like two those two spots so if you get a chance to come up to see them you know you might want to because you can't just see them just anywhere I guess now I'm gonna say it is rough I don't think it's as rough as some of those reviews that I read but it is it's a pretty bumpy ride now the part on just the actual beach wasn't bad but when you get back over in the dunes and stuff that stuff was a little bit rougher there was one bump that he hit that it actually kind of was pretty jarring, but the rest of it, I mean, it was rough. But if you have a bad back, you probably wouldn't want to do it because that might not be good for you. But it was awesome. I was really hoping to see him on the beach, but I think it's probably just a little too chilly maybe. He said weather can play a part, time of the year, but time of the year, even he said this is like, the best time of the year to actually see them but they're the weather it's you know cold windy and gloomy now it was nice and sunny earlier but I guess it's not always necessarily possible to see him on the beach but we're pretty lucky we got to see as many as we did because he said only like you know a few one or two in the last couple of weeks that they he's seen so we pretty much lucked out uh, we are going to head back to the campsite and make some dinner and calling it a night. And I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, but we're going to be hanging around probably the campground and state park. But that'll probably all be in the next video. So you'll have to come back next week to see that. 